From time-lapse cameras to air purifiers to UV phone sanitizers, we all need that. Our next guest is with a company specializing in marketing innovative digital products. The product and marketing director for a company called IDCP is Jan Bors. Jan, welcome back into tomorrow. Thank it's you. been a few years, but glad to have you back on the show. And thank you for joining us. Uh, tell me first a little bit real quick about IDCP, because you represent multiple brands that do some mm -hmm. pretty cool things. Yeah, that's what we started 20 years ago. And uh, actually, 16 years ago at IFA, we found our big uh, supplier ah. uh, called Dynalite. And uh, uh, we started... Uh, for Benelux at that time, and now we're a media distributor for them 16 years later. So it's a, it's an EFA success story. Yes, for and, sure. Uh, with that example, we are also working with other brands to uh, to bring them to the European market based on, uh, on their brand, oh, on brand nice. value, and not on product as such. Sure, and hopefully even beyond the European Union. You know, there are other countries, other areas in the world, like, oh, I don't know, United, United States. States. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that, but usually we work with companies that are worldwide. Uh, th they work uh, actively in, uh, in, in all, all of the world. Good. Um, and we, we take care of the European market because oh, okay. we know that best. Well, sure. But, uh, we but the companies are everywhere. Yeah, yeah exactly. The various um, all of them are, are also active in the U.S., uh, we're actually now working on uh, developing our own products, and that we would we would do worldwide. Oh, very so good. we will come to the U.S. in in a few years with our own products. Excellent. We will look forward to that and and help you promote them. So be, Great. be sure and stay in touch with us about it. And funny, you say the 20 years that you've been around. We've been doing IFA for 20 years, so it it, it ties in nicely. You know? yes, it, it's perfect. all the warm fuzzies. And you brought a couple of cool products with you here to our broadcast center uh, to show. So we invite our audience, especially those listening on the radio or podcast or stream, uh, to be sure and visit uh, intotomorrow.com and check out the videos, not only with Jan, but all of our guests, as always, from IFA in Berlin, because you want to see these cool products. So let's talk about the couple of products that you brought to show. Yeah, one is, uh, is the Brino camera. Okay. Um, Brino is a time-lapse specialist uh, from Taiwan. Uh, we've been working with them for several years, and uh, this is their latest product, uh, 1080p uh, video. Uh, with uh, uh, One of the main features is that they now have their own electronics uh, on board, instead of uh, uh, components bought from China which is a, a big problem that they had over the last years, and uh, like everybody. Uh, so that's going to be a, a game changer, I believe. Uh, and uh, uh, this, this will, is the first of a line of, of new products. And uh, what would the market be uh, predominantly for these kinds of time-lapse cameras, do you think? A uh, big market is the building industry. Oh, so, sure. Because it's easy to, uh, to make a video, a short video of your whole project yes. uh, without yeah. uh, being uh, working on a camera all the time. So you can, up to several months, uh, make, uh, make uh, images and they will all be put together as a single video and, file. And who doesn't love a, a time-lapse video of something being built, for example, because you, you get to see all that activity. Exactly. You know, and, and for example, even here in our broadcast booth, you know, over six days of people coming and going and interviews happening and lights and camera and action mm -hmm. and all the stuff. It's just, they're fun to watch. Mm -hmm. And especially something being built. It's like, oh, look at that. That's really mm -hmm. neat. Oh, the foundation and the wall and the roof and everything. I mean, yeah. it does make a difference to have that kind of capability. Yeah. And another big one that I wanted to mention is that, uh, uh, like here in the booth, we have one hanging there and uh, we can make actually an al analysis of what people are doing at the booth. And there are really? uh, companies that are using these cameras to, uh, to make uh, uh, an analysis of what is happening in a, re in a retail environment to, uh, to uh, optimize uh, a retail environment. So what kind of analysis do you deliver with these cameras? I mean, how does that work? Um, the images are made and then they are put into uh, the an analytics computer who is uh, uh, analyzing what people, how people are moving, how many people are uh, visiting a certain area, how long they are staying to, to watch uh, a, certain, uh, a certain video, for instance, that's shown. And that makes it possible for retailers to uh, to optimize their uh, their yes. stores. Oh, what a great idea! Because obviously, in the case of, for, ex for example, the video, are they looking for a couple of seconds and then walking away? All right, it didn't catch their interest. All right, or are they hanging around because what you're showing is of very 
much interest to them. So yeah. I like that. Very cool. And that's what would, you would use even a time-lapse camera for yep. uh, because it's storing the data. You, know, yeah, you get that analog. You get five minutes of, of data. Uh, and you can make the analysis of that. Otherwise, you would have uh, maybe uh, 24 hours of video that you have to go through. So, yeah. So and who has time for that? You know, <laughs> don't watch that for 24 exactly. hours. So uh, uh, let's talk about expense of the cost of a time lapse camera. Because I'm assuming there are several models. You mentioned this yep. is your newest, for example. Yeah. This one will be around 300. So this is the base model. We also have a model with more uh, features. Um, that is uh, around 400. So we, we always have good, better, best. That's sure. also my philosophy. Uh, yeah. Bring in products that people can choose from. Yeah. And very often they will choose the best. Oh, of course. Right? And if, and if uh, cost becomes an issue, perhaps you don't need the 1080p version. You know, if, yeah. it, if it'll do the job with a lesser expensive one, take advantage and do it. Exactly. Uh, yeah, and, and like the anal analytics that are done, they're using 80 cameras in, in one store, for instance. 80? 80. 80. Wow. So they use this type of camera and not <laughs> yeah. the more expensive one yeah. because it's enough. Yeah. And it's the analytics that you're looking for that make a big difference in, in right. your business. So take advantage. Yeah. Now, the next thing you're bringing us is a bit bigger than this small yes, camera. And again, <laughs> check our video out at intotomorrow.com. And let's talk about, well, first of all, phone soap. And this apparently is in that family. But phone soap, a very simple clamshell sort of thing, right? Put your phone yes. in. You didn't happen to bring one of those, but people get the idea. Mm -hmm. And think of a clamshell. You put your phone in it and close it. And UV rays. Uh, clean your phone, yeah? Exactly. All right. It became this very cleans. popular during COVID. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, you well, can imagine. I remember we've used one long before COVID, and it made a difference because you get concerned it's up to your face or you hand it to somebody yeah. else. You know, you might as well clean the phone, yeah. and, and you don't want to put it through the dishwasher. You know, that's, <laughs> that's do not that. recommended. <laughs> uh, so now we, you clean the air with air soap. Exactly. I love the name, too. <laughs> so this is uh, a, a device that people know, um, uh, 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 air freshener, air cleaner. Air, air filter. Uh, yeah. with, with HEPA filters and stuff like that. But this one is different. It uses uh, electrostatic uh, technology. Um, so there's, a, there's an electrostatic uh, filter in there. Uh, and you don't need to ex uh, exchange it. Like now, the see, that's filter. my kind of filter, because yeah. otherwise, just who put has it under time for that? You just put yeah. it under the tap and uh, clean yeah. it with water. Ah. Uh, and the, the technology will take care of uh, not just uh, COVID uh, yeah. virus, viruses, but also uh, all kinds of uh, small particles. And you know, small particles are, are, are killers yeah. uh, through lung, ca lung cancer. Mm -hmm. So um, having clean air uh, in, in environments up to 40, 50 uh, meters, square meters, uh, that's what uh, what the air soap is all about. And how would you describe it for folks not yet seeing the video uh, in terms of, of how tall it is, how big it is? Uh, yeah, it's a white cube, about 50, me 50 centimeters high. Okay, which, uh, converting uh, that, I'm, I'm bad at oh, math. Sorry. but <laughs> <laughs> One and a half feet, something like that. Okay. So it's... Uh, One and a half feet square, about, what, you, two yeah. and a half feet tall? No, more, three more feet. one, one and a half feet one tall and, and, half and then <laughs> uh, half a feet uh, square. Okay. Uh, there, so there you go. put it on the, on the floor mm -hmm. um, and it has automated uh, system to, uh, to, to check what the air quality is and then it will uh, go faster or, or uh, less uh, when, when needed. And available now? It's available now. And how much? Yeah. In it's US about dollar. 450 for $50, which is the same in euros. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's so much easier this year at IFA because we've usually tried to say, yeah, more or less conversion, it's about the same. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, exactly. So about $450, uh, you know, it's, it's very inexpensive to keep your health. Yes, it works. Uh, it works great. Uh, not just the technology as such, but also for awareness. Yeah. Being aware that your environment uh, could be dirty, could could be infected. Yeah. Uh, and, and just by having technology there is is not enough. Yeah. Uh, so I always like to have something that also improves the awareness level. Sure. And Jan, you guys have so many cool products, especially in all the digital realm, which is the kind of stuff we cover. Real quick, how do you choose what products you work with? Well, actually, we have four brands on the stand at this time. One came from IFA, as I mentioned before. Yep. The other one came from CES, uh, 2014. Oh, that's, that, that's another little show in that's Vegas in January. Show. Yeah, yeah. I know. And the yeah. third one came from Computex. Oh, really? Yeah, Computex? I yeah. Wow, I remember so that. that <laughs> <laughs> I hope it will come again. Yeah. But th that kind of show, uh, typically, if we have one 
uh, find every show, then it's great. It's yeah. too much. Exactly. We cannot handle that. Yeah, you've so. you've done your work if you find at least one good product out of every show. That's very cool. You can check out all of these cool products that Jan is talking about when you visit their site, IDCP. Dot EU for European Union. But don't worry, it's in English and everything is easy to find. And you'll see a whole bunch of other brands and cool products, so do check it out. Jan Boers, thanks so much for joining us, spending a few minutes with us here in Berlin. Thank you, Dave. It was a pleasure, as uh, always. Our, uh, our pleasure, for sure. we got to get you back, and we won't wait so long next time. You have so, so many cool things to talk about. we got to cover more of them. As long as IFA goes through every year, oh, yeah. we'll see you. It will, one way or another. Exactly. Well, we'll have IFA, for sure. I mean, in two years, it's their 100th year. So, of course, they'll be around. Must be a biggie then. Yeah, exactly, for sure. I'm always fond of saying one of the first keynote speakers, Albert Einstein. So, talk <laughs> about a show rich in tech history. That's this one, IFA. And there's more coming from IFA in Berlin. I'm Dave Graveline. Be sure to check out all the video of all of our interviews at intotomorrow.com. Stay tuned for more. Don't go away. We're coming right back on the Advanced Media Network.